The Ordovician phase is the second period of the Paleozoic era in geologic time. Following the Cambrian period, it spanned between 485.4 to 443.8 million years ago, when the Silurian period began. Ordovician rocks are unique in that they may be found at the highest point on the planet, Mount Everest. Plate tectonics, temperature, and biological systems all changed dramatically throughout the Ordovician period. Rapid seafloor spreading along oceanic ridges resulted in some of the Phanerozoic eons' greatest global sea levels. As a result, continents were inundated to unprecedented levels, with North America at times nearly completely submerged. These oceans deposited large amounts of sediment, which preserved many fossilized marine animal remains. Carbon dioxide levels in the Ordovician atmosphere were many times greater than they are now, according to numerical simulations. This would have resulted in mild climates from the equator to the poles. But, near the conclusion of the era, significant glaciation occurred throughout most of the southern hemisphere. In what became known as the Ordovician radiation, the Ordovician period was also marked by tremendous diversification and a rise in the number of species of marine animal life. By the conclusion of the era, practically every contemporary phylum, which are a collection of creatures with similar body plans, of marine invertebrates, had appeared, as well as the development of fish. Brachiopods, that are lamp shells, bryozoans also known as moss creatures, trilobites, mollusks, echinoderms which are a type of spiny-skinned marine invertebrates, and graptolites were among the invertebrates that dominated Ordovician seas. These were basically small, colonial, planktonic animals, the first plants, as well as potentially the first invasion of terrestrial arthropods, came on land. The end of the Ordovician was marked by the second largest mass extinction in Earth's history. Starting with climate, carbon isotope data from conserved Ordovician soils and numerical climate models imply that atmospheric carbon dioxide levels were 14 to 16 times greater than they are now. Widespread volcanic activity, which would have released significant amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, was to blame for the high levels. The weathering of silicate rocks, a primary process for removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, would have been hindered due to significant flooding of continents due to rising sea levels mixed with a lack of broad flora on land. In brief, Throughout the Ordovician period, the rate at which carbon dioxide was supplied to the atmosphere grew while the rate at which it was removed declined. High amounts of atmospheric carbon dioxide would have led temperatures to increase worldwide from the equator to the poles due to the greenhouse effect. The widespread Ordovician limestone deposits with characteristics comparable to those seen in present tropical carbonate sites, such as the coral reefs of the Bahamas, provide clear evidence of high temperatures in the tropics. Bauxite deposits in Kazakhstan and evaporate minerals in North America, Australia, China, and Siberia are examples of further evidence for warm low-latitude temperatures in the Ordovician. Next we talk about Ordovician life. Starting with marine life, the Ordovician seas had a diverse and abundant array of life. Stromatolites, calcified microbial mats, are discovered in Ordovician rocks, however they are not as numerous as in Proterozoic Eon and Cambrian period strata. Phytoplankton is represented by Chitinozoans or Acrotarchs, which have left microfossils, having a hollow interior and organic walls. These are small, free-floating, photosynthetic organisms. Ordovician foraminiferans include the earliest fusulinids, as well as agglutinated, which means glued or cemented, and calcareous forms. Ordovician rocks also include siliceous radiolarians, which are spherically symmetrical creatures with fine, sculptured skeletons that lived as zooplankton, which are groups of tiny animals that fed on phytoplankton. The oldest commonly recognized vertebrates were known from the Ordovician until the discovery of early Cambrian vertebrates in South China in the year 1999. The earliest specimens were two genera of prehistoric fishes discovered in the upper Ordovician Harding sandstone of Colorado by American geologist Charles Walcott in the late 1800s. 
Next we move on to terrestrial life of Ordovician era. In the form of cuticle pieces and spores, the Ordovician contains the oldest generally acknowledged remnants of terrestrial plants. Cuticle fragments with no stomata or other features have escaped identification. The spores are more diagnostic, and there are two kinds that have been identified. Cryptospores which are spore-like structures that predate land plants, originated in the early Ordovician epoch, and quickly spread over the globe. Their morphology, has altered very little through time, and exhibits very little evolution. Although no terrestrial animal remains have been discovered from the Ordovician, burrows and trackways, discovered in Pennsylvania's late Ordovician, have been interpreted as being made by millipede-like creatures. The burrows are in separate size classes, are bilaterally symmetrical, and were backfilled by the burrowing creature, implying a millipede-like organism. The burrows are located in a preserved soil and are linked to carbonate concretions that formed inside the soil, showing that they were formed at the same period as the soil. The existence of plants and arthropods indicates that Ordovician terrestrial ecosystems were larger and more sophisticated than previously imagined. An episode of catastrophic extinction marked the end of the Ordovician period. In terms of the percentage of marine families affected, this extinction interval is second only to the one that occurred at the boundary between the Permian and Triassic periods, and it was nearly twice as severe as the extinction event that occurred at the end of the Cretaceous period, which is famous for putting an end to the dinosaurs. During the end Ordovician extinction in the almost 2 million year Hernantian age and the ensuing Rhodanian age of the Silurian period, an estimated 85% of all Ordovician species became extinct. We hope you liked the video. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe the channel. Thank you. See you in the next one.